Hey, what is going on guys? It's CG Gaming here and today I'm going to be doing a video which people, a lot of people actually requested on how to install add-on car mods for GTA 5 single player. So let's just get straight into the video. Alright, so first thing what you want to do, you actually want to find the car which you actually want to install. So first things first, go on to Google Chrome or any internet browser you want. I'm guessing you guys want Google Chrome. And go on to this website here, it's called 5mods. I'm just going to load it up for you. This is how it looks. It's just called GTA 5 mods. You can download cool add-on cars. Now, for example, we've got a car here. It's called the Renault Twin Twinsy or something F1 tuning. Right? So here's a car. It's pretty cool, pretty slick. It's just small. So what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna press download. I'm gonna press it again. Once you've got this page open or this little file open here, just press uh, make sure you save it to your desktop. You don't have to save it to your desktop, but I always do. From here on, just minimize your browser. And you're left with this folder here. It's called, it's just, it's literally just called the Twinsy RAR. Once you've done that, you have to open up another application called OpenIV. Uh, link will be in the description for this. So once you've done that, all you got to do is just press Grand Theft Auto 5. And it'll ask you, it will start it up. But once you download it, it will ask you to actually find the location of this actual, of your GTA where it's located. So just locate your file, should be done perfectly. So once you've done this, just move this to the side. And then open up the twinsy.raw. So make sure you just put this onto your, onto there. And then open up the readme file. This is, you need, open oh, make sure you do open up the readme file because then you wouldn't know actually where to put it. Just, this is that dead simple. <laughs> So you're going to see, you're going to scroll down until you can see add-on. Once you've done this, all you've got to do from here is just see what it's asking you to do. So it's telling you to copy the folder Twinsy to update x64. So here's the folder. Inside we've got DLC RPF. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into update. So this is what we're copying now. We're going to go into update, x64, and then DLC packs. So this is where you have to copy this file. For some reason, copying does not allow on this. So what we're going to do, we're going to press edit mode. We're going to press OK. And what we're going to do from here is just press this folder button, create new folder. And then we're going to write twinsy. So you have to, it's very, you have to twizzy or twinsy. I'm not, I'm not sure, but you have to write exactly how this tells you to write. So I'm just going to press OK. So now we've got a new folder here, twinsy. From here, and just open up this Twinsy folder and then just drag the DLC RPF into it. So there you go, you actually got the car installed. But it would not spawn in without these certain things here. So what we're going to do from here, we're going to literally exit out of this RAW folder. So we're going to press X and you're going to left with the not readme. What we're going to do is going to see what it's asking you to do here. It's asking you to actually go to the DLC. You have to find this file, DLC list XML. So this is located in, so we're going to go back, so it's located in update, update.rpf, common, data, and here we go. We found the file, it's called DLC list XML. So, so drag this file to your desktop right now. Right click it and press edit. Just drag that to the side, scroll all the way down until you can see the last, and you can see paths. So what we're going to do is asking you to copy this. So we're going to copy this. We're going to highlight it, we're going to press copy, we're going to go down, so we're going to we're going to do this, we're going to press enter at the item, then we're going to press tab, and tab once more, until you're literally on this line there, then all you've got to do from here is just literally press control V, or you can do paste, just like that, so now we've got the twinsy, or twizzy in there, from here and all you've got to do is just save it, so we're going to do save, and there we go. You saved it. Just exit out this um, word pad. So once you exit out of the DLC list XML, all you got to do from here is just drag it back into your OpenIV. So we're just going to drag it back. And there we go. It's back. So we're going to delete this off our desktop right now. Just delete that. And now it's asking you to do the same to this. So it's located in the same location as where this was located. So you just have to find extra title or extra tiles. So we're just going to go to it. This is the file. Just drag this there just go and edit once you've edited just put that to the side like i've done there scroll all the way down until you can see the last item file 
copy this so from here you just have to press press after the item you just press enter once then tab then tab once more and then just paste it in and there we guys go this is how you get it working just press save exit out this and drag this back into your open iv delete this folder and you're done so now all you got to do is actually really spawn it in so we have to spawn this vehicle by its name twizzy so that's what we're going to do now we're going to exit out of um, open iv we're going to exit out of notepad and for this step all you all need to do is just find a good trainer for this or a spawner so what we're going to do i'm going to show you a good thing to spawn it in so from here once you're here you're going to type in simple trainer as you can see this is um, simple trainer here what you're going to do here is just press download press download and save it to your desktop by the way all the links will be in the description below so you don't need to worry about that and then you need one more file which is called native trainer here it is just click that press download and it will take you to this website just download here once again link will be in the description and just press save once you've done that just minimize your browser and go into your file explorer go into your games drive go into your pro programs files or program files x86 whatever it's for you go on steam go on steam apps go on common and then go to find Grand Theft Auto 5 or wherever it's located for you just do the same and once you once you're on the directory here all you're going to do from here is just do this put it to the side and then you're going to drag what you're going to do from here is just open up script hook open up the just shut that open up bin all you're going to do from here is just drag the script hook v and the dimper a into it do not do not drag this into it because this is a total different file so just drag the script hook and drag the dimper press x and then do the same for the trainer so for the trainer all you all you really have to do is just drag the trainer v and the trainer v asi so just drag these two into it so i'm not going to do it because i've already done it and guys you're done so now i'm actually going to show you how it actually looks in game okay guys once you've loaded into Grand Theft Auto 5, what you gotta do is just go out of your house or wherever you are spawned in. So I'm Franklin right now. Hello Franklin. And right now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually spawn in the car. So what you're gonna do is press F4, literally just F4 on your keyboard. And you should receive this menu on the top right or the top left hand corner. So navigating with your number pad, number pad keys or with your arrow keys, what you're gonna do from here is just go down until you see vehicle spawning. So press number pad 5 to press. Scroll down until you can see spawn vehicle by name. So we're going to press that. And all you got to do here is write what the what the file actually told you to write. So we're going to write Twizzy. And there we guys go. That's how you actually get add-on cars working. So this is the Twizzy, which is a really funny card to be honest. And as you can see, inside interior works perfectly. It's it's a it's a really weird car actually. So anyway, this is the I don't I'm not sure what you call it, but it's called the Renault Twizzy, which is a supercar apparently. So anyway, guys, I hope you I hope this helped you. And if it helped you, just make sure you leave a like on my video. But if it didn't help you, just dislike it. It's still feedback, and just tell me how I could make it better. And as you can see there. These are my other cars that I have in there. So we've got the Lamborghini, Hurricane, and the BMW i8. I'm going to make a video on my best add-on cars, so you can tune in for that. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Peace out, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.